it's been a while I don't do a video here from my office slash studio so I just decided to do an experiment for myself and share it with you. I do spend a lot of my time in video calls as I'm sure most of us do and I keep wondering how I sound in the other side and I was thinking is there a different setup microphone or something that would make my audio way better? I know I can connect my cameras and have a better video but how about audio? Like how do I sound? Because usually I vary uh, from like my Bose headset or an AirPod or just the microphone just out of the iMac and are those like really the best? Does it make a difference or not? So I'm gonna read a passage of a book that I really like, Mindset, and I'm gonna do a test with seven different microphones. I'll be using the Apple Original EarPods, the Bose Quiet Comfort, the Apple AirPods Pro, Rode Video Micro, Rode Video Pro Plus, the iMac microphone and the Shure, which I would hope or imagine it is the best microphone. So let me get on it. I am now in a Zoom meeting where I started recording, as you will see here on the top of the screen. And I'm just using the regular iMac microphone. I'll read uh, a passage to you and I'll start swapping from microphone to microphone. The Martins worshipped their three-year-old Robert and always bragged about his feats. There had never been a child as bright and as creative as theirs. Then Robert did something unforgivable. He didn't get into the number one preschool in New York. After that, the Martins cooled towards him. They didn't talk about him the same way, and they didn't treat him with the same pride and affection. He was no longer their brilliant little Robert. He was someone who had discredited himself and shamed them. At the tender age of three, he was a failure. As a New York Times article points out, failure has been transformed from an action, I failed, to an identity, I am a failure. This is especially true in the fixed mindset. When I was a child, I too worried about meeting Robert's fate. In sixth grade, I was the best speller in my school. The principal wanted me to go to a citywide competition, but I refused. Why would I risk turning from a success into a failure, from a winner into a loser? Ernie Els, the great golfer, worried about this too. Els finally won a major tournament after a five-year dry spell in which match after match slipped away from him. What if he had lost this tournament too? I would have been a different person, he tells us. You would have been a loser. Each April, when the skinny envelops, the rejection letters arrive from colleges. Countless failures are created coast to coast. Thousands of brilliant young scholars become the girl who didn't get into Princeton or the boy who didn't get into Stanford. Even in the growth mindset, failure can be a painful experience, but it doesn't define you. It's a problem to be faced, dealt with, and learned from. Jim Marshall, former defensive player for the Minnesota Vikings, relates what could easily have made him into a failure. In a game against the San Francisco 49ers, Marshall spotted the football on the ground. He scooped it up and ran for a touchdown as the crowd cheered. But he ran the wrong way. He scored for the wrong team and on national television. It was the most devastating moment of his life. The shame was overpowering, but during halftime, he thought, if you make a mistake, you got to make it right. I realized I had a choice. I could sit in my misery or I could do something about it. Pulling himself together for a second half, he played some of his best football ever and contributed to his team's victory. There you go, all seven microphones tested. And what are my conclusions after hearing that over and over? I think overall, if you just really want to get your point across and want to make sure people can hear you on the other side, any of the options would do the job. If we're to classifying like the best and the worst, I would have to say, starting with the worst, that the Bose microphone performed definitely the worst. As a New York Times article points out, failure has been transformed from an action, I failed, to an identity, I am a failure. I think the sound was a bit metallic, it could make it slightly harder to understand and if I can avoid it from now on, I'm actually gonna start avoiding it. And as a best option, I actually will have to say it is the Shure microphone. I think 
I was expecting that this is an expensive microphone so it would have been very sad if the results were actually that different I think the sound was full was robust this is a podcast microphone so I would not expect any different however if you give too many trainings presentations and you're really looking for a solution to improve it a notch then I would strongly suggest the Rode Video Micro. This is like an amazing microphone and it does not require any battery. It takes power out of the connection with the device. And depending on where you want to connect, you would need an adapter. So if you want to connect to your iPhone and, and depending on the computer, you're going to need to have this kind of adapter. But without doubt, that was definitely one of the best sounds. It was very par with the most expensive video pro plus or it's slightly better i thought i don't know if it's the difference that i was from the microphone or the settings or something like that but i did like this a little better each april when the skinny envelops the rejection letters arrive from colleges it's a problem to be faced dealt with and learned from so that was quite a nice surprise because it is indeed a cheap solution that you can implement and get to your house if Improving your audio is something you want to do for your video calls. And those are my thoughts, just listening to it. So if you have a different opinion, let me know. I'm curious to see if you actually heard differently from what I'm describing. I am no sound expert by any means. I was just trying to hear what sounded best to me. I wanted to do this experiment for a while, kept postponing, and I finally did it. So that's it. I see you in the next one.